hello guys once again welcome back to my youtube channel jaguars uche mwaneri former nfl guard has passed away at the age of 38 and the cause of this was acute heart failure welcome back to my youtube channel i'm called the andy Landa. before starting the story and according to one of my followers who is a doctor he told me that no andy this guy was double vaxxed. When I talk about double vaxxed, you understand what I mean. So, in full details, former Jacksonville Jaguars offensive lineman has passed away after he was found unresponsive in his wife's Indiana home on Friday. He was only 38 years of age. Ranelli was one of the best and at his wife's home in West Lafayette, about 65 miles northwest of in the Indianapolis, when police received a call around 1 a.m. stating the sixth four NFL guard collapsed in a bedroom. Unfortunately, Moneri couldn't be saved. The Tipkin County Office of the Corona tells us with the official cause hasn't yet been determined the initial preliminary report indicates which died of an enlarged heart failure with acute heart failure authorities say there are no signs of trauma or fall play the official cause will not be named until the tragically report comes back in a few weeks it's sad and heartbreaking son or uh, tony khan son of the jokes owner she issued a statement shortly after the news broke saying nearly forgot strong bond with the jacks and uh, remained to his day on behalf of the jaguars organization and my family our thoughts are with which is family plus friends at his difficult trying hard times the dallas native started his football career when he committed to Purdue over kentucky and texas uh, in 2003 he was suspended from Padre for his total of four semester after breaking the, the teammate Rian Joe during a fight at practice. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube uh, Welcome back to our YouTube channel. The Buffalo Obes Games against the Cincinnati Bengals has been postponed after Dama Hamden suffered a terrifying injury and is in critical condition right now at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm coach Andy Randa. Bill Safety Dama Hampton collapses on field game against Bengals and game was postponed. The safety was uh, injured and uh, in the first quarter of the Bills game against the Cincinnati Bengals on Monday night football and Hamid. Yeah, this is Book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever so be it given all praises all honor and all glory to the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai <coughs> Bahasham Kwadash Double honor to the mighty church, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone, who watch over our souls. Shall warm to the Akim worldwide that are sincere and serious in only will of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Bukhara Kwadash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. To you all, stay strong and stay mighty. So I'm the brother, the disciple Kosha Banyamia from the branch here in Great Millstone, Barbados. So I, I saw this video, um, I think last night or this morning, with the footballer, right? That you just heard, saw there. I can't get his name pronounced properly, the first one. And then this morning I saw another one who um, had a heart attack. In the middle of a game, right, uh, Mr. Hamilton. <clears throat> but I ain't paying no, no mind to it, you know. I was just watching it from a channel I just subscribed to around the association. I may put it in here, right? But then I just get this text here. I just get this text here, right? This for the same one that I showed you just on the first video, Uche Waneri, right? Okay, so let's get these. Oh, I, go, I ain't gonna speak in code so that they don't take down the, the, <coughs> the information, the video. 
Okay, so let's get these job mandates and and job passports up and running ASAP. We seeing children die daily from the unjob selfishness. Pregnant women at risk too. Protect life. Mandate the job. Jail anyone who refuses to protect life. But look what happened to him now. Look what happened to him now. Jail anyone who refuses to protect life. But who's more at, who is more at risk of these jobs, big man? These juices when they're taken. Because you want to maintain your life. But don't look what happened to you, Skipper. Footballers don't, don't get heart attacks like that. They're big man. They're more suffering from uh, ankle injuries, knee injuries, or head injuries. Maybe back injuries. But a heart attack. When these men, the, 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 the um, part of the program is to be physically fit. You understand? Know so a heart attack like that, big man. But you see that way again for trusting in trusting in the devil huh this is what you get for trusting in the devil Damar Hamilton Buffalo Bills player in critical condition after cardiac arrest on the field we want the balls is man You see, one of the ones trust in the Heavenly Father and His Son, His name is Yahweh, who you ignorantly call God, right? And His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the Lord, sheep of the house of Israel. You are the Lord coming back to save. You, 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 you supposed to turn to Him. In fact, let me get that preset, man. Let me get that preset, man. Give me all a minute, man. Maybe you get for trusting the devil. Huh? Taking the devil's portion. And now look what happened to you. First of all, you, you was glad. Man, dear, man, dear, the ASAP. Let me get these up and running. She ain't anyone who refuses to take the job. Now look at you. You six feet under. A Johnny can literally let you. Huh? Because you're trusting the devil's portion. Zachariah 9, man. Zachariah 9, verse 12. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of war. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. So the Lord said to turn to him. Turn to him. But no, you won't keep trusting in this man, big man. Hosea 6. I want come and let us return unto Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. It's not Jehovah, it's not God, it's Yahweh in the Lashawan Kodash. So-called Negro, a, a so-called black man. And his son is a so-called black man as well. Who's rep, who, who, who's the father of the nation of Israel? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Come and let us return unto the Lord, and he have for he have torn. And he will heal us, turn us how we put us in cargo slave ships, man. And shipped us all over the world. He scattered us, man. He was pissed off and he scattered us all over the world, man. But now he's having compassion on us and bringing us back through his son. Believing on his son 
We're going to come up from all four corners of the world, man. He have smitten and he will bind us up. After two days, when he revive us, in the third day, when he raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. And that's that's the elect. Who is this word, man? Is going to live in his sight, man. of the hospital where they took Damar Hamlin uh, with candles lit here at some of the charitable philanthropy that uh, Damar's doing and some of the, the kids that actually he's been able to help for years. Already, so like he's a person that see future men that he to a safety buffalo bill safety demar hamlin he suffered a cardiac arrest um after making a tackle on monday night football versus cincinnati Bengals. it it's one of the hardest things really to kind of look at because you're for athletes and especially in the nfl Injuries are part of the game, so, you know, an ankle, a knee, a torn ACL even, or something like that, you kind of hear that, and like, oh, man, hopefully, you know, he can recover and gets better. And you're more so thinking about him getting back on the field. But in this scenario, I'm just praying for the brother's health. Um, if, you know, I really would like for him to, because obviously NFL football is something, a lifelong dream of his, is something he's wanted to do. So I hope from that standpoint, he's able to get back on the field. DeMar on the field and some of the concerns that he had. Take a listen. As a Bills fan and a human being, it is terrifying to watch DeMar Hamlin on live Monday Night Football collapse on the field, require CPR and AD shock. As a cardiologist, I obviously think about all the possible causes of what could have happened, including commotio cordis, where you're hitting the chest right at the wrong time, and it causes your heart rhythm to go into a deadly rhythm like VT or VF, ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation. Obviously, first and foremost, I think about the player, his family, and all the players on the field experiencing that trauma live in front of them. It's certainly not a normal experience to happen suddenly in a young patient. And it's reminiscent to me of Christian Erickson back in Euro 2020. I already have a YouTube video explaining possible other causes of sudden cardiac death in young patients. So if you want to check it out, you can. But the number one thing that I want you to take from this is that if you're not signed up for CPR classes, sign up now because prompt CPR saves lives. And I'm just hoping Damar Hamlin is okay. Now, shortly after this happened, you began to see reporters and people online, uh, sports anchors, sports analysts, you know, send their uh, support. Yeah, man, so you get the point, man. We, we in a time where you, 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 you got to return back to the Heavenly Father, man. You so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. You say we be in our time, man. Cause this place is about to be judged for its wickedness, man. Me and with our precept, man. Destroying people's lives, man. We get our precept and shut shot, man. You trying to return back to the Father through His only begotten Son and put your trust in Him and understand that this society. Now you trying to hold on to that when you took the juice, right? And then a lot of you are going to run and take the, the, the karagma. This society, as you know, it is about to be judged by God. Too much wickedness it has done, man. Too much wickedness it has perpetuated in the earth, man. It has done too much wickedness, man. So now it's time for, for, for Babylon to pay. Revelation 18, 
and two, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the whole of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, so all nations took part in the whore's philosophies, my Babylon the Great's philosophy. That's why LGBT all over the world, transgenders all over the world, right? The philosophy that it produces is the wine that you're drinking and you becoming drunk by it. You want to think about a clear mind, eh? You understand? And the kings of the earth in each, gov in each government in the world, right? The leaders are, are, are in cahoots with the whore. Yes, sir? Right? The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich to the abundance of her delicacies. And they heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that is the elect of the nation of Israel. That ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God have remembered her iniquities. See, Lord, didn't forget what we're, we're everything we're going to do, even to how America was established, man, to rape, robbery, and murder of the Israelites, man. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. That's why it was established, man. Right? Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her words in the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. So Lord, I wonder that wandering after the beast, especially him. I, I didn't even know he said this. I just, like I said, I just see the video. I just, okay, shit, he gone. But then I know he, 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 he th th this is the reason why. You see? Lord, don't, God don't love ugly, boy. God don't like ugly. You see? God don't like ugly, man. This world is about to be judged by the heavenly father. This one to be God's son, boy. And he that saveth his life shall lose it. Boom. Exhibit it. Huh? Protect life. What the hell that's protecting life, big man? Anyhow, shall I walk?